Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about how to rearrange the simple interest formula in order to solve different kinds of simple interest questions. So if you remember the formula is I equals PRT over 100. Now this formula is used when the question gives us the principal, the rate and the time and we have to find out the amount of interest. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to use this formula to solve questions where we're given the interest and the rate and the time and we're asked to find out what the principal is or when we're asked to find out what the rate is given the other three variables or we might be asked to find out what the time is given the other three variables. So let's have a look at this question. A bank offers 6% simple interest on an investment. At the end of a five year investment, the interest earned was $10,000. How much was the principal invested? So let's analyze the information that we have here. There's four variables that we could get values for. There's P, which is the principal, there's R, which is the rate uh, per year. And there's the uh, T, which is the time uh, in years. And there's the I, which is the amount of interest. So we don't have the P. Do we have the rate? Yes, 6% per annum. Actually, in the question, it should say per annum. Time and years, it's five years. And uh, <clears throat> the amount of interest is 10,000. So notice how our for our equation, I equals PRT over 100. I is the subject of the equation, which is not going to help us because I is not what we're trying to find. We're trying to find P. So what we need to do is rearrange this equation to make P the subject. So what we're going to do is times by 100 on both sides. As you remember from uh, junior school in algebra, if you multiply or divide by something on both sides, the equation remains equal. So if you have divided by 100 then times by 100, these two <coughs> numbers cancel each other out. So you're left with 100i equals PRT. Notice we want to get P as the subject of the equation. So we're going to divide by RT on both sides. So RT divided by RT cancels down to 1. So we're left with P equals 100I over RT. Now if you don't understand how to rearrange equations it is okay to just memorize the uh, last section here but uh, I would still strongly suggest that you understand how to balance equations uh, there are tutorials on this channel for that if you go to junior maths I mean year 8 to 10 maths there's plenty of algebra tutorials that teaches you how to rearrange equations So once we have the equation rearranged so that pr the principal is the subject, we can then substitute in the values for I, R and T. So 100 times I which is 10,000 divided by the rate which is 6%, T which is 5 years. So put all that into the formula. And the answer is uh, 33,000 
and 33 cents so isn't that amazing if you save thirty three thousand uh, dollars approximately into the bank for five years uh, in a five year period you can earn another ten thousand dollars so that's why you should make sure that you don't uh, spend your money on things that you don't need because if you invest it you can get a lot more money okay let's have a look at this question here when John invested twenty thousand dollars in debentures for thirty months he earned four thousand dollars simple interest find the yearly interest rate so again we write P equals I equals R equals T equals now in the test I will suggest that you specify that P is the principal, I is the interest, R is the rate, T is the time and years and so on but right now you guys know what it means so I'm not going to repeat that so the principal was twenty thousand dollars interest uh, is four thousand dollars right this tells us here he earned four thousand simple interest the rate we don't know so we want to, we need to know the rate uh, in terms of uh, percentage per year and the time period is 30 months now notice how for the interest rate we want to know the amount of the percentage of interest rate per year so the time has to be in years as well otherwise it's not going to help us solve the problem so 30 months how many years are there in 30 months 30 divided by 12 uh, which is uh, 2.5 years so actually I'm just gonna rub this out and put 2.5 years thirty over twelve years which is two point five years okay so uh, once we have all the variables sorted out we then write the original equation which is i equals prt over a hundred now we need to make r the subject so we're gonna repeat the same steps we're gonna multiply by a hundred on both sides which gives us a hundred i equals prt and then we want to divide by P and T on both sides uh, because R is the variable that we want to remain on the right hand side so P divided by P is 1, T divided by T is 1 so we're left with R equals 100I over PT once we have rearranged that then we can substitute in the values we want into the equation so uh, actually let's use some different colors so we got I is uh, 4000 so 100I 100 times uh, 4000 uh, divided by P is uh, 20,000 so let's draw it in green P is 20,000 so 20,000 times T is uh, 30 oh, sorry not 30 2.5 years so putting all that into the equation actually I'll just show you how to type it in uh, so you don't get confused so when you type something like this into the calculator you want to make sure the top is done first and the bottom is done first before you divide them together so let's do a hundred times four thousand so you got uh, four hundred thousand on the top so I'm just going to write that down and the bottom is uh, 200 
I mean, 20,000 times 2.5 is 50,000. And now you're going to go top divided by bottom. So 400,000 divided by 50,000 is 8. And remember how the rate is in terms of percent per year. So you would do it that way. And uh, the same thing, uh, the same kind of steps will apply for problems where you're asked to find the time. You just rearrange it to make T the subject and then solve the uh, equation by substituting all the values in and finding what T is, if that's what the question wants. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. See you next time.